Hello friends, uh, welcome. Uh, many years ago, I uh, read a small article by Professor Krishnamurti where he has mentioned that in the current age or in the contemporary period, the Kali Yuga, Venus has gained more power than Jupiter. Now that particular thought from Krishnamurti remained with me for many years and I started wondering why Krishnamurti mentioned that in the current age or the Kali Yuga, Venus has become more powerful than Jupiter. That is what I am going to discuss in this presentation. Now in, uh, in the Indian Astrology or the Bharti Jyotish, the Jupiter and Venus both are uh, deemed to be as a first class benefic and Jupiter is the uh, Dev Guru or the Guru of the Devatas, the Gods and Venus is the Asur Guru or Venus is the uh, Guru of the uh, Demons. But just by virtue of being Guru, both are said to be a first rate benefic. But by default, and traditionally, and over a period of time, we think that uh, uh, Venus is the benefic compared to, uh, uh, sorry, the Jupiter is the benefic compared to Venus. Now, if you look at the the uh, the Kal Chakra or the natural zodiac, where Aries, you know, is the by default is the ascendant, and if you look at uh, what kind of houses both Jupiter and Venus they occupy. Then you see that Jupiter occupies the 9th and the 12th house. The 9th and the 12th house have a special significance in the Indian astrology because in Indian astrology there are four kind of uh, karmas or the purusharth that one has to undergo in one's life and that's called the dharma, earth, kam and the moksha. So if you look at the dharma and the moksha, they are both uh, represented by the signs of the Jupiter that are uh, Sagittarius and the Pisces. But if you look at the houses that are owned by Venus, then it seems like Venus uh, is, uh, okay, uh, is the owner of insignificant sign like the second and the seventh. Now second house is usually apart from so many things, it's also the house of accumulation of money. And the seventh house is the apart from many things, it's also one's status or standing in a society, uh, in the public eye. Now there are many uh, interesting uh, combinations around Jupiter and Venus that happens in the natural you know, zodiac. And if you rotate the natural zodiac where one of the uh, signs of Venus becomes ascendant or one of the signs of uh, Jupiter becomes ascendant, then you find that when Venus becomes ascendant or the Venus ruled sign becomes ascendant, then the 8th house is ruled by uh, uh, Jupiter. And when Jupiter is the as uh, Jupiter sign is the ascendant, then the 6th house is ruled by Venus. 6, 8 and 12, these are houses are not deemed to be good in Indian astrology. So if you take uh, Libra ascendant or if you take Pisces ascendant, you find that there is a strange uh, um, interconnectivity between uh, Jupiter and Venus where Venus or Jupiter might be occupying one of the bad houses, 6, 8 and 12. And furthermore you research, then you find that there is a strange kind of things happening between Jupiter and Venus. Now, one of the most important thing that I've noticed is that the Venus becomes exalted in the sign of Jupiter, which is it, which is the twelfth, twelfth uh, house. So that's one of the most important thing. Jupiter doesn't become exalted in any of the Venus uh, sign, but Venus becomes exalted in one of the Jupiter sign, which is the twelfth house, which is the house of the Moksha. And traditionally, of course, the Jupiter is always given uh, more significance uh, compared to Venus uh, when it comes to comparing the benefic uh, effects of both Jupiter and Venus. So, uh, so many horoscopes when they come to me and many of you who, with whom I interact on, on a one-to-one -one basis 
and sometimes you know this question comes up that okay there is some confusion in terms of what kind of a gemstone or what kind of a remedy is needed and then by default i always hear the answer that uh, the topaz or yellow sapphire or pukraj these kind of stones are always uh, good they will never do any harm and all these stones are <coughs> ruled by by jupiter and it is a very firm belief that uh, the wearing a jupiter related stone will not do any harm and like i mentioned that in the natural zodiac since uh, the jupiter becomes the owner of the ninth house which is traditionally called as the house of luck or house of the fortune uh, and house of providential help so i guess this uh, the whole notion that jupiter will not cause any harm has something to do with uh, jupiter's uh, relation with the ninth house and but to me it seems that uh, the ninth house which uh, it doesn't uh, represent either the earth or the calm the earth means the uh, the career or the profession or what a person is going to do in the life and the 11th house that means the calm now the calm doesn't just mean sex the calm means calm nigh the desires that a person has in life and there are so many desires that a person has in life so so uh, in the traditional astrology it seems like uh, the uh, the a person who is more spiritually inclined is said to be more fortunate this is the traditional view and for this reason the the jupiter has been given more uh, significance over uh, venus but let's look at what you know krishnamurti is trying to assert now over a period of time this particular traditional assertion that a person who is more inclined towards dharmic or the spiritual activity is said to be more fortunate this happened sometime long back in history but the wheel of time you know it keeps turning and the uh, uh, things over a period of time they change and new humanity and the new age they have new aspirations so today in this contemporary period who is fortunate this is one of the question that we have to ask in uh, when we are talking about uh, what jupiter has to represent or what venus has to represent so let's look at what jupiter represents now traditionally jupiter represents uh, all these things uh, spiritualism religion scripture generosity compassion temple pilgrimage and philosophy and lot of other stuff but these are the main attributes that uh, jupiter represents and the venus represents beauty comfort ornament love romance vehicle club the appreciation and women so now if you look at the contemporary period the current age the kalyug and if you look at all these values and i am not saying that you look at the society you have to ask yourself that are you more inclined towards these values or are you more inclined towards these values are you more uh, religious minded or you have a spiritual bent of mind and you devote a lot of time in temples i i lot of people you know they, they go to the temple but uh, the idea is that even in the temple their demand is for these kind these things which are venus um, ruled so that's one of the thing that we have to ask that are we looking for values in our life that are represented by jupiter or are we looking at the values in our life that are represented by venus now in most of the horoscope that i get i 80% or 85% of the horoscope that i get all the questions and all the issues in the life remedial measures and all that they are all related to these things people want comfort people want good vehicle people want appreciation in society people want good uh, married life in terms of spouse and all that they need money those kind of a thing very rarely you know i get uh, the uh, horoscope where somebody would be genuinely interested in asking that what kind of spiritual uh, 
प्रैक्टिस वन हैज टू डू और वॉट काइंड ऑफ साधना वन हैज टू डू सो एटी एटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम ऑल द क्वेश्चन दैट आई गेट आर ऑलवेज अराउंड थिंग्स दैट आर रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय वीनस सो देन वी हैव टू काइंड ऑफ सेट अप एंड टेक नोटिस दैट वॉट वॉट हैपन टू the values or the aspirations or the uh, efforts the that were represented by jupiter most of the things are uh, the questions are around the things that are represented by venus and like i mentioned when the kal chakra changes and with the time which is a great destroyer lot of things in the past they get destroyed and then we have to kind of set up and think about what kind of new institutions have come up what kind of new desires have come up what kind of new values a person wants in his or her life so that 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 that's one of the chart that i wanted to show you that what are the values jupiter represents and what are the values venus represents now these values the, the one that jupiter represents in the past that is what i think these values were deemed to be higher and that's why jupiter is uh, traditionally said to have more benefic power than the venus normally you know if you have some handle on astrology and you recommend a safe stone then you would always recommend a jupiter stone compared to the venus stone you will always i have not seen astrologers who say okay we are a diamond or we are one of the generic stone that belong to venus most of the time they say okay you know the jupiter is the natural default uh, uh, benefic planet that will not do any harm and so you should be wearing uh, or you should be doing things around what jupiter represents now if you look at uh, what kind of things venus has uh, fueled in the current age like krishnamurti mentioned that in the current age or the kaliyug venus has become more powerful so when we say venus has become more powerful then we have to visibly take a notice that uh, what kind of things venus represent and is it true that uh, those kind of things have become predominantly more uh, uh, visible compared to what uh, jupiter used to represent uh, some of the values that jupiter represents like uh, um, temple religion and all these things uh, i would not um, say much about all these things all the time you read in the newspaper that what's happening in the temples and what kind of fraudulent practices are going around religion and those kind of things so that's one of the point that you have to uh uh set up and take notice that something has happened to jupiter and all these values that jupiter was representing in terms of temple in terms of uh, uh the sadhus or in terms of holy people and all that they seems to have taken a a, a good uh, uh, a toll and they have all gone down and let's look at what venus represents and how these values have gone up now venus represents women right now if you look at the women and compare it to the women in the past today the women they go to the space and they participate in the war they can drive all kind of heavy vehicles or machineries and the women they are the cfo or ceo or the president of lot of you know fortune companies then venus represents com- comfort or the venus represents vehicle now if you look at all these vehicles um, once upon a time in astrology there used to be something called vahan yog and i remember long back uh, i used to get a query about you know even having a bicycle and today when i think about it it looks like laughable you know and in a, in a few years pretty much every single person on this planet earth will have a vehicle and all these questions about vahan yoga and all that will become irrelevant and not only this if you look at the kind of vehicle that are uh, that will become popular in due course of time these are all futuristic kind of vehicle and today there are a uh, lot of corporations who are preparing for a guided uh, uh, tourism to even moon and even to mars so that is what has happened to the state of vehicle and if you look at the 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 comfort 
today if you have a smartphone in your home just devote some couple of minutes of time just thinking and what kind of comfort you know it brings to you at your fingertips in millions of years what has not happened in terms of comfort that one smartphone has already done for you and now we have these uh, smart houses that are coming up and that you can govern regulate uh, using you know remote devices and let's look at uh, all the the glamour bollywood cosmetics beauty those kind of things represented by by venus and i don't have to tell you much about it the whole social media is full of uh, all these stories on gets glamour and the cosmetics the beauty stuff and all that so when we look at the contemporary age then we find that all these things that venus is representing have definitely gained a very large momentum compared to what jupiter was representing jupiter was representing temple sadhana meditation spiritual practices and all that a holy man and all that they all these values have seem to have taken a beating but the all the values that are represented by venus venus that have gained a tremendous momentum and not only they have gained a tremendous momentum these are the things that you aspire in your life uh, when uh, people approach me and they uh, ask a lot of these question then i know that m- most of these their questions are around one or one of these topics they need a comfortable home they need a vehicle uh, they need a retirement plan uh, what is a retirement plan it, it is just a comfort zone you know that's represented by venus and uh, uh, they need money and they need to go on some vacation those kind of things so all these things are represented by venus so venus has definitely gained a lot of strength like krishnamurti mentioned and these are the things that most of uh, most of us now desire for so if you look at what krishnamurti said that um, the current age or the kaliyug the v- the venus is gaining power and uh, jupiter is losing power no doubt that jupiter is losing power all these values have uh, are diminishing and all these values are going up as we go further there is a tremendous uh, uh, emphasis or focus on all these values that are represented by venus this is something not theoretical you can just look around and even you know personally also you can appreciate that yes these are the values that one is looking for so definitely you know it seems to me that venus has become more powerful than jupiter like krishnamurti has mentioned now in terms of two benefits venus and jupiter jupiter and venus once upon a time jupiter was uh, the most beneficial as uh, mentioned in the traditional astrology but being more rational and logical and being more contemporary we see that jupiter values have gone down and the venus uh, values have gone up so we can safely say that yes all the values related to venus has gone up now another thing that i mentioned in the beginning of this video is that the venus getting exalted in pisces this is one of the strange uh, uh, contradiction that i see because venus represents all the material comfort and material things in the life and jupiter represents all the spiritual things in the life so it seems to me that this particular thing the venus getting exalted in pisces means that path to spiritual is through the material once unless and until your material need your comfort money and all these little bit of uh, desires and aspirations in life unless they are accomplished one will not be able to go to the path of what is represented by jupiter which is the spiritualism philosophy and all that so this particular thing venus getting exalted in pisces this has a very mysterious and uh, significance so that you have to keep in your mind now in some of the traditions uh, in in india i think they realize that uh, the 
the time has changed the kal chakra is moving and the people are more interested in the material need and therefore the path to the spiritual is through the material material cannot be ignored now many of these paths if you look at the what kind of names you know we have in india and these are some of the common names like sita ram uh, uma narayan bhavani shankar radha krishna all these names you might not have noticed but in all these these kind of a names and th these kind of names are not popular long back at some point down the time uh, uh, the, these name become became popular now in sitaram you see you see the the god name of the goddess is in the beginning and ram is after that similarly in umanavan the n name of the goddess is in the beginning and the name of the god is after that so, and same in bhavani shankar same in radha krishna you don't say krishna radha you will not find a person with the name krishna radha or you will not find an person with the name ram sita so what i i am trying to say is that the this kind of a thing that happened because of venus getting uh, more powerful in the kaliyug the whole path to spiritual pra progress became possible through material prosperity now the goddess the venus which also represents the goddess lakshmi uh, which is uh, uh, related to uh, money and all the comfort and fulfillment of desires in life so that is what these kind of uh, names they suggest that at some point of a time our rishi muni they realize and for this reason it might be symbolic it might be metaphysical but it has a tremendous you know meaning for me that why the goddess name uh, is in the beginning and the name of the god follows that and is never the other way around so the path to spiritual is through the material or the path to jupiter is through venus that is what i want to emphasize over here so what do you do now now you have seen that venus has gained more power and uh, unless the material needs are fulfilled unless a person has some some kind of a peace of mind in terms of material prosperity money comfort and things like that one will not be genuinely inclined towards what jupiter represents so the question that, uh, uh, that should i wear topaz should i wear yellow sapphire and the stone that are related with uh, with jupiter that that are the default you know proposition from some person because we always think that jupiter is more powerful than the venus what i would say is that now since venus has become more powerful so it and both jupiter and venus both are benefic planets and we never paid much attention to the uh, the benefic planet venus so why not diamond or why not uh, 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 a generic stone i know diamonds are very costly so why not a generic stone represented by uh, by venus so that's one of the first thing that i wanted to emphasize that uh, if your needs are if you come to me and if you say okay i need a job i need a money i need a vehicle i need a comfortable house i need a good retirement plan these are all represented by venus so why i would recommend you to wear a stone uh, that represents jupiter it's totally you know Ill illogical i would say okay these kind of things are all represented by venus and the venus is also a benefic planet so if you can afford why not wear a, a diamond if you cannot then go for a generic stone that's represented by venus and if you look at the mantras the guru mantra is always said to be beneficial that's by default that is what uh, uh, we take for granted but since i do believe and very strongly believe that venus is the really more powerful and venus is where we need to pay attention to as being born benefic in terms of fulfilling one's desire so then rather than uh, you you might want to look at you know doing some of these uh, uh, mantras for the venus venus represents uh, goddess lakshmi and but when you are doing mantra remember one thing that uh, the goddess lakshmi has many names 
you are aware of the uh, Lalita Sahasranam, where the goddess has hundreds of names. Why these names, why the goddess has so many names, it has its own importance in astrology. The No doubt the Venus or the goddess Lakshmi in any form will be beneficial. Okay, But one particular alphabet representing that goddess name is going to resonate with your Rashi Chakra. So in astrology, there are methods where based on your Rashi Chakra, uh, one can calculate that what particular name of goddess is going to be more beneficial for you. So when you are looking to do the mantra for the goddess, then you might want to keep this in mind that the goddess has so many names, but one particular name is going to resonate with my Rashi Chakra. So when we look at the uh, who is the default benefit, whether it is Jupiter or whether it is Venus, then you have to look at what kind of uh, things you need in life. And if you need things, uh, sometimes I have, you know, even the priest from temples uh, calling me and most of their questions are just around, um, not around, really around Jupiter, but most of their questions are around fulfillment of some kind of desire about, you know, running a temple successfully. And that in turn, of course, means a, a good blessing, you know, from the Venus. So right now, that is what I think that, and you also might want, want to consider this, that Kishmurti did uh, bring up uh, this very important thing that in the Kali or in the contemporary age, the Venus has become more powerful. Jupiter and Venus both are benefic, but whatever our desires are, those are more represented by by Venus. So we might want to look at some of the remedial measures that are represented by Venus. And apart from the gemstone and the mantra, if you want to do a charity, then <clears throat> normally you do a charity by going to the pilgrimage or holy places and temples and all that. Keep continue doing that. There's no harm in this. But um, uh, in terms of Venus, if you look at Venus, Venus represents art and Venus represents music, artists and all those things. So you might want to look at some of the institutions who are really doing a good job in those fields, art, music, beauty, fashion, whatever, you know. If they are doing a good job, then you might want to do some karmic charity in terms of helping, you know, those kind of organization. And I'm, I'm sure that's going to going to help you. So that is all in, in this presentation. And I do uh, would appreciate to have your thoughts and your comments on this uh, <coughs> Jupiter versus Venus topic. Thank you for watching.